Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late August 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libra Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going. My gods and spirit team, talk to me about these beautiful Libras here. In late August 2024, what energies, messages, insights can we pull for our good friends? And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Libra in late August. We're getting closer and closer to your birthday, my friends. It's not too far away. Just around the corner. Let's see what's up. What's going on with my Libras? Beautiful Queen of Cups type of energy, water sign energy showing up here real strong. Now, this isn't a tarot deck, but some of the cards within it have very similar imageries or pieces of imagery that the tarot deck has. But before we fully dive into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the August subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. And also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk more about this card. So we see this lovely lady. It's like she's sitting on that, that chair, that throne. She has her foot dipped in the water. And this just screams Queen of Cups to me. Now, there's a lot of positives and some challenges when it comes to Queen of Cups energy. For a portion of you, you might be connected to a water sign, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or there could be a prominent one in this time that Spirit's trying to say, hey, hey, look over here, look at this person's energy. But if that's not the case, if it's not representing a person, I always say that all queens represent the internal aspects of their suit. So when we see the Queen of Cups, that's an emotional suit to begin with. When you add the Queen of Cups, it's highly intuitive. It's highly in tune and emotional. So just know like whether this is presenting in a positive way with like empathy and feeling what others feel, or it could be the other way around. You might be in some really deep feelings, feeling some big things in this time, a little more so than usual when she shows up. A great thing with the Queen of Cups is she is very creative. Uh, she's emotionally expressive in her most evolved form. But there is a warning here about suppression as well. So in this time, it's not a great thing to suppress if that's possible. But we're just going to leave it at that very loving energy too in its positive form. But let's see what shows up in tarot. And I always say that first card there doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. Um, so yeah, let's get it going here. Let's get three cards in upright for the lovely Libras. And yeah, while we shuffle this deck up and get it ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading. It was titled An Unexpected Action. And the way it was presenting itself to me, it was like, I mean, you might act in a way that you don't normally do, or there could be someone you're connected to where they do something you don't quite expect, or it's like, well, all right, where'd that come from? Just know that that unpredictable energy, that could still bleed over for a couple weeks. So we're going to see what shows up this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. Let's get it going. Three cards to start. What do we have for the lovely Libra Collective? What's happening? Very quick. Okay. So we have the devil in position number one. That doesn't ruin the reading. Okay. So stick with me here. But that, that could be something that definitely needs a little bit of attention. That's for sure. Let's get that tucked in by the amethyst. Maybe the amethyst will take the edge off that. Let's get a couple more. Thank you. Cards are coming out super quick. All right. We do have the two of swords here. A little bit of mystery. Could be some indecision or confusion. Something on the mind there. Let's get one more. Let's see what's happening for the Libras, please. What is going on? Thank you. Oh, you got a blooper reel. The card fell on the ground. So I'm going to go grab it real quick. There we go. We are back. Five of Cups. Okay. So maybe I should have left it down there, right? So we do have some challenging cards here this week, Libra, and that's okay. Remember, if you're if everything's cool with you, everything's fine. This could just be how someone else's energy is presenting itself. Um, but yeah, let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into that juicy, intuitive stuff. But at first look, first glance, elementally, we do have a mixture. We have some earth. We have some air. We have some water. There's a lot of internal energy going here in the back end. But as you can see, some of these cards usually present as 
challenging. So I really want to get into the finer details of this reading. But yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a little bit of mystery. There's that emotional feeling we saw. We also have this devil, which could be a whole variety of different things. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this out because I feel like it's going to be a nuanced reading. So position number one, the devil. Now, again, this doesn't throw the reading out. Um, the devil could just be a Capricorn that you're connected to or someone with Capricorn placements. And they get the devil card because of the goat symbolism and goat symbolism alone. OK, our Capricorn friends are not devils. OK, but this card can also mean a lot of troubles. It could be a lot of trials, tribulations. Oftentimes, this could represent a tough situation you're going through or a problem that you might be dealing with. The one thing I say about the devil energy is regardless of what it's representing, it's not an easy energy to move past. This is something that lingers for quite a while. So whether this is something you've been dealing with for a long time, whether this is something that's recently happened that's going to take a long time to move past or heal through, that's what the devil is. Now, this could represent toxicity, whether it's an individual, whether it's a connection, you name it. The devil could represent obsession. The devil could represent addiction. So you see what I mean? There's a lot of challenging aspects to this card. Now, when we come to the positive aspects of the devil, because there are some, because every card has positives, the devil could represent overcoming these things, overcoming these challenges, these problems. So I really want to see what the clarifier is, because we might be moving towards improvement, especially with that two of swords. Now, a good chunk of you might be going through something that's really not easy. Okay, or if this isn't your energy, if you're cool and everything's fine, like there's someone you're connected to that's really going through one. Position number two, we have the two of swords. So we see this individual, it's at nighttime. They're blindfolded, they're hoodwinked, they're bamboozled, and they have the two swords crossed. Classically, this card can represent confusion. Classically, it could represent indecision, not really knowing what to do. How should I do this? What, what what road should I walk down? What options should I take? It's like someone mulling something over and thinking it over and over and over. But I also link this to mystery in general. It's not always confusion or indecision to me. To me, the Two of Swords is a card of something that you don't quite see. Something that could be unexpected, something that could be surprising. So hopefully it's not really connected with the devil. Maybe it is going to be a solution. That's what I'm hoping it's going to be, um, because that's the positive aspect of this. Although it is mysterious, there's always a solution that comes forth after, even if it's not super easy to get to that point. Now, moving to the back end, we have the River of Tears. We have the Five of Cups. That's the card that flew out on the floor. Um, and yeah, this... It's called the River of Tears for a reason. So we see our friend there all dressed in black. They are goth. They are emo. They are in their feelings, feeling big things. And we kind of spoke about this with the Queen of Cups in the very beginning. Um, the positive of this card is that it's not representing a final result. Remember, it's a five. It's not fully matured energy through the suit. So there's still cups standing. There's still things off in the distance. This isn't a final destination. It could be a current situation. And of course, it could represent either feeling emotionally rough, feeling down. It could be depression. I always say it's on a spectrum. It could be something very small. You might just have a few gloomy days coming up, but it could also be pretty major. Something could really be heart-wrenching when we see this Five of Cups. Um, but we really want to see how it all plays out because the positive of this Five of Cups is overcoming. Okay, and I, I said that about the devil as well. See it with the Five of Cups. There could be an energy of overcoming something. So I want to dive deeper on all of it, Libra. Let's jump in and clarify. Yeah, because there are some problematic energies here. It's all good, though. Life isn't always linear, right? There's always going to be curveballs and things popping up. So let's shuffle it up here. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that devil. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to the Libras, you could drop it in the comments and don't mind at all. Okay, devil, what is happening? What's this earthy stuck type of energy? Why is it here? Please. Thank you. Two of Wands. All right, so like this is something that really shouldn't be avoided, okay? And I, I don't know why the message is coming out like that, like whatever this is. It could be representing a problem, but it's not just representing a big problem or a situation. It's like taking a cold, hard look at it. Now, if you are dealing with certain things right now, 
uh, avoiding the issue or suppressing or pushing it away and saying, I'll deal with it later, I'll deal with it later, I'll deal with it later, is not the way to go here. That is not the way to go. And I know Libra energy is very graceful. Um, you like to do things within bounds. Not, you don't like to rush things. You don't like to pressure things usually. But I feel like when it comes to this, whatever this problem is that's presenting itself to you in this time, whether it's relationship related, whether it's uh, interpersonal, whether it's emotional within yourself, you name it, whether it's work, taking a cold, hard, honest look at it is extremely important. Um, notice we have double twos here as well. So now we're seeing number signs, we're seeing synchronicity. So for a lot of you know that like spirit could be sending you omens, whether it's warnings, because it could be, we'll see as it goes through the rest of the reading, because spirit could be trying to warn you about something or encourage you. It could be one or the other. But the two of wands, is usually a card of making a choice or a decision as well. But to me, there's a lot of strategy. There's a lot of planning. So just know if there is a big problem that's presented itself recently, you could get through it. Absolutely, you will get through it. Um, but it's more about making a plan of action. And I saw this in the Gemini reading as well, and it's showing up in yours. So yeah, we do have this double and it does seem problematic, but it doesn't seem impossible, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna, we're gonna keep moving. And I feel like an avoidant, like you shouldn't avoid it. You shouldn't push it down the road. You shouldn't kick the can down the road. It's something that you really need to stare it in the face. That's what it is. You need to like just stare this issue right in the face and say, all right, well, this is what it is. This is what I can do to overcome it. Let's keep going to the two of swords. Let's see why the two of swords is here. Because we did have some mystery last week as well. Quick, super quick. But you might not. Or whoever this is, this is a very avoidant type of individual. We have the hermit. This is a completely retracted type of energy where it's like, uh, but I don't want to because it's not comfortable. Like something feels very uncomfortable here. Uh, both of these cards are extremely mysterious and the hermit's pulling its energy back where it's like, well, I, I don't want to deal with it, so I'm not gonna. Um, I feel like these are two totally different approaches. So if you're dealing with something interpersonally, we have people trying to deal with it in completely different ways, whereas one is much more straightforward, like, listen, we got to talk about it. We got to figure it out. We need to approach it. This other one is like, well, maybe not. Maybe if I pull my energy back, this will just go away. Um, I don't think it will. But the way it's showing here, it's like one wants to approach an issue or a problem. The other one wants to just like avoid. OK, so you might be dealing with a very avoidant person or there might be something you're tiptoeing around or avoiding. That could definitely be it. Now, the hermit. Aside from like the dark, mysterious type of energy, it's wise. There's a lot of wisdom here for a portion of you. You might just need some time to think. Uh, you might just need some time to like really strategize and you don't like being rushed or pressured into things. Like when I see the two of swords and the hermit, it's like, I just need a minute to figure it out. I'm not avoiding it. I just need a minute to figure it out. It's like giving me that kind of vibe. So listen, that, that would be for you to discern with whatever it is you're dealing with. But we are seeing two completely different approaches to a problem. That's like the main thing I'm picking up here. So let's just put that hermit right back where it belongs. Of course, Virgo energy. Can't uh, not mention that. We are moving into Virgo season. So lots of earth. Let's go in on the five of cups. Then we'll do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow. So what is happening? Why is that five of cups here? Please. Thank you. Page of wands. Okay, I really like this. Now we have a little fire sign energy. It's communication. It's talking. Uh, watch out for hurtful words in this time. And I do feel like for some of you, uh, I don't want to say you're going to hurt someone's feelings or someone might hurt yours. But I would say take every conversation you have like lightly. Keep it light. Even though like we have this energy here in the front end, there's something here about like keeping the conversation light. Because if it gets too heavy, it's going to get real, real heavy. OK, so even if that's all like friends and family, I feel conversations getting deep, deep, deep. Um, the Page of Wands is about communication, talking, action and moving forward. Um, the energy of all this will continue to progress one way or another, okay? even if it's difficult or not. Um, but there is something here about a very deep conversation, a possible hurtful one. OK, so whether it's someone that gives you a wake up call or you give someone else a wake up call, that's possible here. But there is this vibe of like, well, maybe for now you should keep the communication very light. That's just how it's presenting itself to me. I don't necessarily feel it's bad. If you are connected to a fire sign, they might not be in the best place energetically right now. 
That's one thing I can say. Because aside from that, like, the Five of Cups could also be someone that's upset, angry, or mad. So, like, we do have someone here. It's either hurt feelings or a mad person here. Okay, so let's go through and do a quick recap. Lots of stuff. And, you know, in recent times, I've been getting a lot of nicer energies for Libra, and it seems like it's kind of taking a turn. So if it's not yours, it could be someone else's. It's just a little... It's off. It's not what I'm used to. It's not as balanced as I usually get with Libra energy. But if you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the devil surrounded by the double twos. Spirit could be sending you omens, synchronicities, all that good stuff. So keep your eyes open. Um, you'd have to discern whether it's a warning or whether it's encouragement. But when I see this devil with the two wands, it's like somebody, you know, we got to work on this or we got to figure this problem out. We need to confront this head on. It is one way of approaching something. Now, I do feel like this is the best way uh, personally, but then again, I'm an Aries, right? Like I always think, uh, yeah, full steam ahead. Let's go. Let's handle it. As we move forward, we have the two of swords with the hermit, the complete and total opposite, where it's like, no, I need to take a step back. I need some time to think and collect my thoughts and collect myself. So we have these two totally different energies. I do think the straightforward one is the best, but there's still this retracted, pulled back energy as well, where it doesn't want to be pressured. That's the vibe. So some of you might be dealing with a very avoidant individual. I don't feel like it's a permanent avoidance. I feel like it's a right now type of thing. Moving to the back end, we have the Five of Cups with the Page of Wands. Someone might get their feelings hurt in conversation, whether it's someone that says something mean to you or you might get a little mean to someone else. That's very possible. Um, but I'm also getting the vibe of someone that could be not just a little sad. They could be angry. So like keeping the communication light. And there's an aggression on the back end. That's the best way I could put it. So keeping the communication light feels like the way to go. So please take a screenshot of that. Let's see what's in the shadows for you, Libra. Let's shuffle it up one time, my guides. Talk to me. What do we have in the shadows for the lovely Libras? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. They could be a good thing. So let's get you one. And if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love for all my channel members. Okay, let's get this card out here. What do we got for Libra? What is happening? Thank you. Okay, three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work, huh? So for a big portion of you, career things could be on the mind. Money things could be on the mind, money situations. So especially when this shows up within the shadows, I do also want to say for a lot of you, when I see this as a shadow card, it could represent assistance or help. So don't be surprised if someone you know or someone you're connected to might need your help with something or might approach you for help when I see this in the shadows. But another thing I can say, especially with some problematic energies and trying energies that we saw within the reading itself, don't feel like you have to do everything on your own. Don't feel like you have to be in solitude and just figure it out by yourself because there might be more assistance and help for you than you realize. You might just need to ask for it. That's like a big thing with this Three of Pentacles. Aside from that, there could be just certain situations revolving around work, finance, money that haven't really um, completed just yet. So yeah, Libra, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the August subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can check out my digital calendar at my website, mastermetaphysics.com. And for the July subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced after this week's fire and air readings. But for the August subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Gilded Tarot Royale, one of my favorite decks ever. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments if you could time travel. Would you rather go into the past to meet your ancestors or would you rather go into the future to meet your descendants? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love and I'll see you soon.